Conference play underway for men's and women's soccer. Volleyball hits the East Texas road trip. Cross country in action and golf with a big weekend. All that and more coming up on Saints Total Access. Women's soccer started their conference season against their I-35 rival Houston Tillotson out at the Olu soccer field. Dawson Brinkley, the freshman, picks up one of three goals on the match. She had seven goals for the week, back-to-back hat tricks. As the Saints hit the win, 6-1. to one. Brooke Cousins had a goal, as well as Yolanda Vasquez. Dawson Brinkley again with the hat trick and seven big saves from Mikayla Gilbert. Um, I would say when I came in, I was definitely nervous because I knew that it's just going to be completely different than high school, like way harder. And um, I didn't start out with that much confidence, but like as I started to go through the season, I got more and more. And then it just it feels awesome that I'm able to like help my team out and get us um, some goals to win. It's amazing. Also amazing, Dawson Brinkley picks up Red River Athletic Conference Player of the Week. Men's soccer was also in action against Houston Tillotson in a game that is usually very physical between the two. It was no different this time. Saints got things going early. Adrian Delgado picks up the goal and gave the Saints an early 1-0 lead over the Rams of Houston Tillotson. Saints again scoring in the second half, putting their lead to 2-0 as Jose Barraza picks up the pass from the wing and puts it in the back of the net. Barraza picking up his first goal of the 2018 season. Houston Tillotson, though, did not take long to come back as they draw within one with 30 minutes left to go. Again, they come right back within five minutes there and another goal for Houston Tillotson to equal the game at two. In overtime, Houston Tillotson had an opportunity as it deflects off the crossbar right to Jorge Cavazos for the save. Saints think they have the win in overtime. Looks like it goes in. Referee calls it off. Take a look at it again. Off the hands of the keeper. Looks to go over his head and into the goal as the Tillotson player looks to try and kick it out. But it looked to be in the net. But again, the referee said it didn't go, so the game will finish in a 2-2 draw. Saints need to bounce back as conference play continues next week. We did a poor job. The game, in a lot of different ways, was poorly managed. Um, I'll leave it at that. And in, in, in the end, we've got to deal with a lack of a result because we didn't manage the game well. Officials didn't manage the game well. Um, people didn't manage their behaviors and tempers well. We played the game with emotion. You don't win games when you play with emotion. And we played with too much emotion and, uh, you know, let other people get the best of us. Undefeated in conference, volleyball headed off to East Texas to take on Jarvis Christian. Saints get the victory in three sets, 25-7, 25-13, and 25-15. Bailey Hubbard led the team with 11 kills. Anissa Thomas added 33 assists and 13 digs for Elizabeth Olivetis. Saints followed up their Friday night matchup with Jarvis Christian with a Saturday afternoon affair at Wiley College in Marshall. Saints would take the victory in that one in three sets, 25-19, 25-19, 25-20. Saints go to 4-0 in conference play. Donna Cruda had 11 kills and 2 aces for the Saints. 34 assists for Anissa Thomas. 15 digs for Natalie Fazio. Before getting back in the conference play, the Saints traveled up to play Southwestern University, a team the Saints have struggled playing on the road to in the past. The Saints would drop a heartbreaking 5-set match 20-25, 25-22, 25-22, 18-25, and 13-15. Saints are now 7-7 seven and seven on the season. You're ready for conference play. Here's what Coach Tiffin had to say about the weekend. Yeah, well, we uh, had two tough matches on the road. I mean, going up to Jarvis is always uh, an interesting trip, but I was really proud of how the girls uh, handled being on the bus all day, got off, and took care of business. And then Wiley, uh, we, we got fortunate with Wiley. Uh, they had played a big match the night before, um, so their crowd wasn't as big the next day. Uh, one of their uh, six rotation players wasn't playing. Uh, I think she was a little banged up, so we were fortunate to catch them on kind of an off day. Um, I don't think we played very well, um, but I don't think the match was the highest quality, and so I think if we play them again at their place, I think they probably beat us. Um, we just got fortunate. 
uh, right there. And so it was it was really good to go 2-0 and that weekend to play six sets um, and then just get out of town. And then uh, last night, another tough road trip at Southwestern. I don't think we've ever won at Southwestern before. And we had our chances. We were up 2-1. Our middles were getting the job done. And then just, uh, I, I think our, our youth showed a little bit in the fourth and fifth sets. A uh, little inexperience, a uh, little just uh, mental sluggishness. Uh, and, and they took advantage of that. And then uh, the fifth set came around and, you know, we gave them just way too many points. Uh, I think they, they scored eight and we gave them seven. And when you give a, give a team half their points, uh, it's not looking too good for you. But we showed some good things, but we got a lot of work to do um, to get better in certain areas. But, you know, to go to start conference off 4-0, I'm pretty happy with that. Now we just got to take care of the other things. Congratulations to Bailey Hubbard and Anissa Thomas for picking up Red River Athletic Conference Player of the Week honors. To continue on making some good decisions with who to distribute the ball to. Um, a big part of like setting is making sure that you know they get a one-on-one, -on -one, and so that's going to be more so of my goal, making sure it's consistent. It has helped me because, of course, you need your team in order to win, and you need setters and passers in order for me to hit. So, and then shout out to Foss for giving me blocks. <laughs> Saints golf team finished second place at the University of Houston Victoria Fall Classic. Tournament took place at the Victoria Country Club. Canabara led the way for the Saints as he came in a third place tie, finishing with a one under 215 over the three days. Saints will travel to Lamont, Illinois for the Flyer Invitation, hosted by Lewis, hosted by Lewis University. Women's cross country team plays third place overall in the second annual Saints Collegiate Cross Country Invitational. Saints finished first among other Red River Athletic Conference teams. Andy Trejo came in fifth place overall in 20 minutes and 10 seconds in the 5K, and Sabrina Garcia finished 10th place for the Saints. Well, I felt pretty great. We had um, a lot of competition. Um, coach mentioned that we had about 50 te 15 teams um, competing, and that's like one of our biggest race. Not only that, a lot of our conference competitors were there, so like it was kind of like a trial meet to what or preview to what conference is, and it was pretty exciting. Congratulations to Andy Trejo, who picked up another Red River Athletic Conference Runner of the Week honor. I'm I really like my times to drop a little bit more. Um, I like where I'm at, but I know I know I can be running faster than I am right now. So I'm looking forward to just working really hard at practice, uh, especially in workouts, and hopefully seeing that time go down significantly. Men's cross country were also at the second annual Saints Collegiate Cross Country Invitational at Wincrest Golf Club. And finished in second place overall and first against other Red River Athletic Conference teams. Derek Barnett came in second in the individual and Jose Zapata came in sixth place for the Saints. Uh, it was really wet, especially on the backside. There's uh, there's a lot of puddles that form, so the the ground is real muddy and real slippery. And every every so often, you just like you step in a pile of mud and you fall off to a bit to the side. So it just it was mostly trying to hold your ground on on this one. That's it for this week on Saints Total Access. Make sure you check us out next week as we'll have more for you. I'm Mike Thompson. We'll see you at the games.